How's it going, crew? This is Happy Days, and welcome back to our Felix the Fisherman Fisherman's Challenge. So in the last episode, we fought another boss, and we put the smack down on the Eater of Worlds, which was actually kind of fun, and we played around with all our new weapons, and it was really, really cool. We also got our first official... Offic official... <laughs> oh, that's such a bad pun. <laughs> I didn't mean it. Uh, we got that angler earring, which has increased our fishing power, which is awesome. So this episode, I'd like to start work on our fishing town on top of the uh, building here. I mean, sorry, on the floating island. And a lot of you have asked me to do some pixel art, uh, like fish buildings and stuff. So I think that's going to be really, really cool. Uh, also, we could find some more bosses. Um, I'm thinking Skeletron might be fine. And uh, we're probably going to need some Frost Daggerfish for that. Uh, to help out during the fight uh, with our melee weapons as well. Um, we could also fight Queen Bee, but I don't know, it's really interesting with this challenge. A lot of the bosses you don't need to fight because you can't use anything from them. So anyway, I'll have to think about it while we're off on our adventure. So let's get started. And let's start our day with a nice new quest and see what we can catch. Out in the forest, I was fishing, right? Well, guess what? A bunny hopped up to me. <gasps> bunny fish. Oh, that's so cool. Now, it says caught in the surface. I wonder if I can do the ice fishing and the bunny fishing at the same time. So I'm going to make my way to the little tundra spot that we've got and see if it works because that would be really cool if it does. Uh, we had a bit of fun fishing, and uh, I didn't catch any frost dagger fish, and I came back here. I don't think the bunny fish were going to drop in the other place. Now, a lot of you were telling me tricks to pick up multiple quest items. So, apparently your trash doesn't count, and then you can pick it up, and then, yeah, and then you can pick up a third bunny. So, that's pretty cool. I like that. So, let's put one of our bunnies in there. Actually, I don't really need the third bunny, but anyway, it's, uh, it's fine. It's fine. Oh, sorry, bunny. Okay, so let's see what our quest reward is going to be today. Hopefully another piece of kit fishing gear, um, but we'll soon find out. Three, two, one, boom! Whoa, crate potions, yes! Oh, that's so good. Uh, crate potions increase your um, chance of a crate by 10%. So up from 10% uh, to 20%, which is really, really nice. Uh, let's see, I've got a few crates. Uh, we can probably open those up, which will be nice. Uh, let's see... I don't really need the frost minnow, and, uh, oh, third bunny fish, why not? <laughs> Alright, so let's open our crates and see what we get. Iron crate first, three, two, one, boom! Oh, some master paws bait. Awesome. That's pretty cool. And more, oh, wow. Okay, one point of upgrade, yay. <laughs> oh, oh, I had some more fish too. Whoops, 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 whoops. More fishies. Actually, I'm just going to get rid of the bunny. Oh, no, we'll keep bunny fish. Okay. And three crates. Oh, I got another accessory. Sweet. Climbing claws. Very nice. I needed some of those. Okay, and nothing else. Remarkable. Alright guys, we're going to build our town next. Uh, I've just noticed I've only got 200-ish wood. And we're going to need a bit more wood. I, I mined some stone from my quarry. but uh, So I'll mine some wood throughout the night. And uh, then we'll start building our town in the morning. It's going to be awesome. Okay guys, it's a bright new day, and it is time to start building some houses, finally. So the first thing we're going to need is a sawmill, uh, and that's so we can craft some of the cool uh, different building pieces. So we haven't done a lot of mining, so I have a lot of natural sort of things like wood and stone and stuff. So what we're going to use is things like planked walls and wooden beams to add a bit of variety uh, to the build here. So wooden beams are kind of nice. They act like a foreground block, but you can walk through them. A bit like bubble blocks. Um, I haven't been mining for planked walls, but this would be nice to make a bit of a, a fence sort of thing too. So let's make a little bit of each of these. And then I can also use normal fences as well. Yeah, that should do. Alright. Um, let's see. I've got torches. Nice, nice. Okay, so I did a bit of terraforming on the island here. And I think what I want to do is have the town up on some stilts. 
uh, kind of like how a fishing town would be, I guess. And I guess the trick will be... Oh, actually, they look kind of cool uh, for that. Um, oh, Travelling Merchants here. <gasps> Is today going to be the day, guys? Are we going to get the Sitting Ducks poll today? Oh, it's so random. Like, you just... You just got to keep your fingers crossed that one day it will come. Um, yeah, I'm just wondering. Yeah, and I can put the town on stilts like that. That's going to be awesome. Now it's just a T, but soon it will be a town. <laughs> where, okay, where is Mr. Merchant? We need to find out if today is the day we're getting our magical pole. Oh, wow. Okay, let's make our way up here, and we're going to do some parkour. Oh, it's all happening. All right, come on. What's your name? Abraham. Have you got the pole for a 3 to one up? No. <laughs> An angel halo, wow. Okay, that's kind of cool. Magic hats. Oh, wow. Ultra bright torches. Hmm. Hmm, three silver. Uh, yeah, but let's get a few of these. Why not? That might look cool for our build. Um, because they're like, they're almost like an ocean sort of colour, so that's kind of nice. Alright guys, so as always with my speed builds, I'm going to, well, speed it up for you, obviously. And, uh, we'll put a couple of towns in. They're not going to be, like, highly ultra designed because we actually need a lot of NPCs to move in. So we'll get it started, see how we go. Well, guys, I'm so excited. We're finally finished with our fishing town upgrade. So, we'll make our way up the ropes here. And as you can see, I've built a few little shanty sort of buildings uh, using, like, really natural materials, which is cool. And, uh, yeah, it's kind of themed. Like, there's a blacksmith and then, like, a hotel and, like, some sort of refinery. And then we've got, like, a little tavern. And as we get more stuff, I can add, like, little bottles in there and stuff like that, too. Which is really, really cool. And we've also got some more NT NPCs moved in uh, while I was running around, uh, which is really cool. So let's buy some uh, musket balls for our boomstick, uh, because that'll be nice to use against Skeletron, I'm thinking. So we've got our bow, we've got our boomstick, we've got our uh, fishing weapons now, which is really, really cool. And, uh, oh, I don't know, I don't think we need anything from the Dryad uh, just yet, Dirt Rod. Oh, Flower Ball, that's pretty cool. I wanted to patch up some of these little... Uh, it's like, it's like such minor stuff, but like, you can see like a bit of dirt wall in the back there. I'm like, meh, yeah, I'm gonna get my OCD on and fix that up a bit. <laughs> why not, guys? Why not? I mean, if you spend time, like, making something, why not make it look really nice? Oh, there's a, a firefly. Let's get it. Sweet. Um, yeah, like, I think if you're gonna spend time building something, why not? Yeah, make it look the best you can make it. So, yeah, yeah. There's also, I don't know if you guys mentioned it, there's like a tiny bit of dirt sticking out there and I'm like, ah, I want to fix it, it's been driving me crazy. Uh, but because we haven't had the, oh no, I can't do that. Um, there's this weird thing in Terraria where you need to move in from the sides, so uh, naturally placed walls you can't override. You can't even hammer them either. It's so bizarre, like check it out, you can't hammer the walls. Um, yeah, so you have to dig in for something. Anyway, that's fine. So I think what we'll do guys, I know... It might seem a bit crazy because I've only got 180 health. Um, but I think we're going to take on uh, Skeletron. Um, I, th I think we're ready. Like, oh, 
No, I don't really need any of that stuff. I think we've got the right weapons, and I should be able to dodge him and stuff, so... I think. <laughs> what's the worst that can happen? Oh, what's this one? I hear in the underworld that the king of all demons is actually a fish. Demonic hellfish. Oh. Now it says caverns, though. I wonder if cavern, so it goes underground cavern layer. Hmm. Is it worth having a quick sidetrack to see if we can pick up this fish? Hmm. I mean, I would like to do another quest. That would be nice. Oh, I just don't know. Oh, I bought a sickle, by the way. I was going to use hay, but it didn't really work, so... Oh, I'll have a think about it. I'll clear my inventory. We'll see if we're going to go get the demonic hellfish. We're back in the jungle. <laughs> Killing piranhas. So, I was thinking about it. I'm like, yes, Skeletron. Um, sounds like fun. And I thought, well, if we're going to fight him, uh, we need to look at our regen. So, we don't have much armor, but that should be okay. Um, I think as long as we can regenerate our health nice and quickly, we should be okay. So what we're going to do is have a quick look in the jungle and see if we can find some honey because honey has, yeah, one of the, oh, wow. Are you kidding me? There's a hive right near the top. That's so awesome. Um, wow, that's so cool. We've like barely explored the jungle. Oh my gosh. All right, how am I going to get in here? Oh, oh, bombs? Bombs. Yes, bombs. Oh, I can probably mine for some of those uh, fish, the honey fins or whatever. Oh, is there going to be those killer bees trying to... No! No, 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 no! No! Oh, oh crazy bees. I'm going to try and get a torch on the ceiling. There we go, that's better. Oh, traveling merchant. Oh, is... Ah! There's so many bees! Go away, bees! Go away. Oh, actually, I don't have to go all the way in the hive. I can just get the honey from here. Easy! <laughs> Easy peasy. Oh, I'm out of recall potions, by the way, which is slightly irritating. Uh, I need to farm for, sorry, fish for specular fish, which are those things that you catch all the time, which you never use, uh, because once you got a magic mirror, it's like, meh. But, um, yeah, so we need to go underground eventually, but, yeah, I haven't had much need yet because we're not mining, so, anyway, let's go see what the traveling merchant's got. Oh, Mr. Merchant, have you got our fishing rod today? Oh... Have you got the rod? No. No, it is a... It is. You can get a pre-hard mode, can you? I'm pretty sure you can. Oh, should we smite some sake? Sake, sake. Uh, boost our melee. No, I'm probably going to use ranged for the most part. Alright, we're going to make our way to the dungeon and get ready for Skeletron. And if we get there fast enough, we could be able to fight him tonight, which would be awesome. Oh uh, yes, we're at the dungeon, and it is time, oh, take those bomb fish out of your inventory, I mean, out of your hopper, Happy, what are you doing? Haven't you learned from all the times you've blown holes in your houses that you shouldn't put your bomb fish in your inventory? <laughs> and uh, I didn't include it, but guess what I did while I was building the fish town? I blew a hole in the wall of the hotel. <laughs> oh, it's so crazy. I don't know. Oh. Oh, you need like a little pop-up. It's like, are you sure you want to use a bomb? You're currently in your town. <laughs> I don't know. Um, so, do you know what I'm finding really difficult, guys? Because I've played expert so much, I'm not used to normal mode anymore. So I don't know like what sort of stats you need for each boss. Like, I've got a good feel for, like, Eye of Cthulhu and stuff, but now for the normal mode bosses, I really don't know what sort of stats you need anymore, so I don't have a grappling hook either. So we need to be able to double jump uh, with Bunny. So maybe about that. Let's see. <laughs> yeah, okay, that, that'll do. So we just need to be able to avoid his spinny attack. I don't know if he's slower in normal mode. I, I can't remember, so... Yeah, I, I guess I'm hoping that uh, this is sufficient uh, to take him out. So I was looking at his stats, and his hands do about 20 damage, and his head does 30. And we've got 12 armor. We've got a... Is that an iron skin? Yeah, beautiful. Um, so we'll get about 20 defense, which means... Yeah, we should avoid... We probably take about 15, maybe 20 damage a hit. Um, so as long as he doesn't catch us in that weird head spinny thing... We should be okay. What? Is that actually going to make it? Yep, beautiful. Alright, so let's get some campfires. Very nice. Oh, yeah. Go, go, bunny. Huh. And take that slime. 
Let's see. And I'll just put one honey bath in. <gasps> this isn't going to be tall enough. We won't be able to reach. Okay, we need to put a middle platform in. Just so I can make my way up uh, to the battle area. There we go. So that should be good. Excellent. And now the only other thing we need to do is put the honey somewhere. Uh, this might be a nice spot here. Because we'll run through it quite a bit. Let's just use normal wood. Make a little honey bath like that. And pour some honey in. Some of you were telling me you only need to use one uh, bucket of honey. But I haven't quite figured out how that works. So, yeah. Ooh, ooh, ooh. We need to put, um, we need to put our sunflowers in too. That will be very nice. Uh, so we can move faster. Because we can't grapple, this is going to be of critical importance. That's right. Critical importance. Ooh, I think I've got a heart lantern too. Uh, did I put it in the pig? And that still doesn't sound right when I say that, but you know what I mean. Did I put it in the pig? Oh no, did I leave the pig back at base? Ah, this is a disaster! <laughs> what am I going to do? I want the heart lantern. Oh, there's the pig. <laughs> oh, happy. What's, what's, you know, what, what's wrong with you sometimes? <laughs> oh, I don't know. Alright, let's put some nice little torchies around. Oh, guys, this is amazing. Wow. Okay, we're ready. So we'll wait for the night time, and we're going to put the smack down on the skeleton. Oh, yeah. Oh, guys, it's night time. We're ready for our battle. Oh, I'm a bit nervous. <laughs> All right, he's probably going to mock me because, <laughs> because I don't have enough hit points. Actually, I'm going to turn my buffs on before, because I'm probably going to take a hit getting up there. Yeah, definitely. Okay. All right, let's get some honey straight on, and let's avoid these hands. Oh, wow. Okay. So, all right, yeah, the hands are taking some okay damage. Let's try some uh, arrows. No, that's not working. Uh-oh. Oh, wow, he spins so slow. <laughs> what are you doing? Come on. Come and get me. Come and get me. <laughs> ah, I'm fearless. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, I'm going to try to use this little fish. <laughs> Probably not the best idea. <laughs> okay, you can actually land some hits though, which is kind of cool. Whoa! This is cool. Ninja, ninja fisherman. Oh, man. Oh, let's try and... Yeah! Take that! Take that! And that! <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> it's so weird um, when you, you play a lot of expert and you, you go back to normal. It's, yeah, it's kind of crazy. <laughs> but it's kind of... Do you know what I find really weird? It's like, this is the boss that everyone used to fight. And you're like, oh, Skeletron, man. <laughs> it's really tough. <laughs> Oh, okay, so we just got to get this hand uh, off. <laughs> get rid of the hand. Although, I don't know, does it make any difference in normal mode? Like, because in expert, you got to kill the hands to hurt the head. But, yeah, no, nah, the head seems to be taking full damage. So, that's okay. I don't mind. All right, let's... Okay, now it's just you, buddy. I wonder how the sawtooth shark works on him. All right, let's try it out. I'm sorry, we have to extract your brain. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, let's not die. <laughs> that would be sad. <laughs> oh, man. Oh. Okay, this is uh, it's not too bad. I'm glad I didn't um, do any powering up. And I had a feeling that this might be the case, you know. Uh, I want to try the swordfish. Yeah, the swordfish works good. Check it out. That's nice. Huh, huh, on guard. Oh no. <laughs> I'm on danger of being knocked off the cliff there. So one thing I've thought of, guys, is when we get in the dungeon, we probably need to create an artificial fishing spot um, because we want to catch some uh, jungle crates. Uh, jungle crates. <laughs> uh, we want to get some uh, dungeon crates. Yeah, the little gold lock boxes. Um, so we still need to kill mobs to get the keys. But um, the cool thing is that uh, you can get like the Cobalt Shield, there's the Miramaza, which would be... Can you imagine getting that? That's like one of the best swords. Um, so that would be really nice. <gasps> Why didn't you land on Skeletron, Mr. Star? <laughs> oh! oh, gotcha! Fall off! Yeah! <laughs> oh, it rolled off the cliff. <laughs> Oh, that's funny. Oh, no way. Wow, that's so rare. Look at this. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> oh, yeah. wow, guys. I'm so happy. Oh, that was so good. Huh. Okay, let's take him out. 
Let's take you out, buddy. So now it is time to explore. Oh, no, no. Do you know what we should do? Is there any water nearby? Okay, there's the ocean. There's a little puddle over here. We need to just pick up some water uh, so we can create a fishing spot in... Oh, ow. So we can create a fishing spot in the dungeon. So I think as long as... Oh, is this deep enough? Oh. Whoops, sorry. I'll put a torch down. I'll put a torch down. I'll put a torch. It's all good. All right, we got to deal with these guys. All right, we need to put the pig down. I think I put my buckets in the pig. All right, bucket. Water. Very nice. Extract the pig. And now it is time to journey into the dungeon to see what we can find. Oh, there's so many items. Oh, so yeah, I guess we'll just we'll make our way in, make a fishing spot, and then see, yeah, how many chests we can pull up. This is going to be awesome. I can't wait. All right, guys. Thanks, as always, for watching another episode of Felix the Fisherman. Oh, I had so much fun this episode building his town and fighting Skeletron, even though it was kind of easy. But it was still fun. And, uh... Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of enjoying all the boss challenges you're giving me, like, you know, only use this much health, use this much armor. Uh, it's really cool, and it does make it kind of challenging, which is awesome. Alright, so in the next episode, I can't wait to try fishing for some of these dungeon crates. It's going to be really cool. And now we've got the crate potion, that's going to help a lot. It makes it one in five chance uh, to get a crate. Um, so that should be really good. Alright, it's time for some shoutouts, as always. And our first one is from Jack Reynolds. And they've asked me to sit in a Felix voice. Now that I have the Reaver Shark, I can mine cookie ore, make a cookie rod, then catch a cookie shark. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. <laughs> and next one is from Tyler Lennon. It's a variation on a shout out that happened the other day. And it's give a man a fish and he will eat for a day. Teach a man to fish and he will kill the eater of worlds. <laughs> Poor eater of worlds. <laughs> uh, did we like, well I think we were like using the sword, swordfish shark in the head. Yeah. <laughs> we just kept stabbing him in the head. It was kind of fun. Uh, our next one is from Jeremy Lavier. I'm pretty sure it's Lavier. I probably went through this last time. I think I've said his name before. And he's asked me to say in a zombie fish voice. A zombie fish? What on earth does a zombie fish sound like? Oh, it'd be like, whoa. It'd be like, brains. Anyway, the boss would say, hey, Felix, catch me. <laughs> oh, that sounds like a monster, not a fish, anyway. <laughs> and next one is from Lance Allop. And the boss would say in a Felix voice, the cookie fish is one in 10 million from Golden Crates. I must have one. Oh, guys, I wish they would make an item, like, ridiculously rare in Terraria. Like, insanely rare. Like, that would be so fun, because then, yeah, like, when you got it, it would be, like, a real accomplishment. Oh, like, slime stuff now is kind of like that, but, whoa. Our last one today is from Garrison Strag. And they've asked me to say, in an announcer voice, now introducing Felix the Fishman! <laughs> uh... And if you did notice, I have put the fish costume in our new town. I, it wasn't really well hidden, so I'm sure a lot of you saw it. But if you didn't, go back and check it out. He's proudly on display in the fish town now, which is awesome. Alright guys, thanks so much for watching. Click that like button. I can't believe the support for this series. Every video has over a thousand likes. I know that may not continue for the whole series, but it means so much to me that, you know, so many of you are supporting the series. It's amazing. I'll keep your comments, feedback, and suggestions in the comment section as always. And I will answer as many of them as I humanly can while I'm eating cookies and drinking milk. And our last thing as always is subscribe if you haven't yet, guys. We are so close to 100,000 now. It's crazy. I can't wait for the big party. And yeah, it's going to be really, really good. Oh gosh, this is so exciting. All right, here's the most important part as always. You will stay happy and I'll see you soon. This is Happy Day signing out. See ya! Alright, now let's find out where this lava is. Mr. Lava! <gasps> oh goodness! Okay, we've got to heal off, nice. Oh, he's about to go in his last form! Oh, what are we- No! <laughs>